Alright, what's going on guys? It's Jeff. Back here on some more Elden Ring. The last video, I just ended up beating Radon. At the moment, we're like, what are we, uh, level 45 at the moment. We got a plus 8 greatsword, uh, Radon died, we got the green turtle talisman, we got a Radagon sword seal. Radagon sword seal gives you a plus 5 to multiple attributes, so if you look over here, my default is 25, 27, 25, 12, but if I go and put this on, it's 30, 32, 30, 17. So I got more stamina, more equip load, more HP in general, and it says it increases damage damage taken. I'm pretty sure all of the HP and stuff that you get along with the strength and stuff definitely makes up for the increased amount of damage that I take. So after killing Radon, a crater ended up opening up over here. Now the thing is, I don't think I need to go to the Starfall crater. I think I could go up here now and try to enter the capital city. So if you guys are enjoying these Elden Ring videos, just let me know down in the comment section and by leaving a like on this video. Yesterday I uploaded a Mortal Kombat video because they ended up releasing Peacekeeper and it's been a while since I did that. I usually do a video on those updates. So we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go and grab the map. Oh yeah, another thing thing i don't have all the talismans that i could possibly get uh i saw a comment on my video yesterday asked me dude why don't you uh go and get the uh raptor's cloak and the claw talisman and stuff like that since you almost exclusively uh jump attack with this sword and you know they're right the thing is i could definitely go and get that uh claw talisman at the very least i think the claw talisman gives like 15 percent more uh damage to jump attack and the armor the uh raptor cloak only gives you 10 percent now 25 percent total sounds very nice but to be honest with you i'd rather take the cosmetic look here and just go with one of them so i'm just gonna go and pick the uh claw talisman it gives me more doesn't change how i look cosmetically i like how it looks right now so all right so we grabbed the map so we're actually gonna go back down to where the uh claw talisman is, which is usually over here at stormvale cast so i'm just gonna sprint through here uh make it to where i need to be and uh yeah because i used the main gate i never got that uh other one i just ran through there like a madman i'm just gonna have to run past everything in here and if it's where i remember it also another thing i remember that my sword is just a regular great sword so it's scaling with strength and decks i don't want to build decks so the plan here is to actually also grab the uh iron whetstone or wet blade or whatever it's called which will actually allow me to turn my sword into exclusively heavy which will make it only scale with strength that's the way to do it now what happens after you kill the uh one dude that's usually in the i forgot about that usually he's supposed to lock you in that room over there to make you fight the one mob what happens if he's already dead it just doesn't lock you in there or what okay yeah it's just there all right rusty key is there what else is in here? Curved Sword Talisman. What does that do again? Guard counters. Yeah, I never use that mechanic in this game. So the rusty key is just in there when you go in there. Right. There's a pretty strong knight in here. Unless I'm too strong for him. Oh, yeah. Too good damage. Ow. You really chased me all the way up here? You wanted to die that badly? Like, what is your problem? And we want to grab this grace. Now, we'll go for the claw talisman first. I think here I can get the claw talisman and the uh, wet blade. Okay, so you want to run across here, jump here, go around, drop down, hit the bird. So it doesn't follow us or knock us off of some shit. Yeah. I remember when I first found this shit, I was freaking the fuck out. I was like, there's no way they actually designed the map this way. Couldn't believe it. I thought I was just going to end up dead. Yeah, if you don't kill all those guys before you go up this ladder, they just shoot the shit out of you with arrows. So otherwise, I would just avoid them entirely. The claw talisman should be up here with a bunch of birds. All the birds fly away. Claw talisman. You can teleport. There it is. Rampart tower. Now we go the opposite direction. First, let's go and put this talisman on. going to make us considerably stronger. Wait, we got a heavy load now. Fuck. I can move it back to these gloves. It's fine. I must have been just barely able to wear all that. I remember this was one of my most hated spots when I initially started playing this shit. I mean, what is this shit? TNT throwing birds? I think it's down there somewhere. I remember there's an item down here as well. Yeah. Isn't that something for like a little quest line or some shit though? This is like the uh, mimic thing. Yeah, mimic veil. Remember I turned into a bush the first time I used that shit? I was beyond confused. All right, so there's this grafted scion over here. I could just run past it. Yes. I'm tired of being afraid of this mob. I don't know what that stance is. I'm out of here. You can't fit through the door though. Wait, I don't have any stone sword keys. Oh, what the fuck? What do I do now? Dude, come on, die already. Fuck out of my face. There's gotta be a stone sword key somewhere in this place. There's a chest up here. Oh, wait, I think that's a stone sword key right there. Usually they're purple. I really hope that's a stone sword key. I, I didn't even think about the fact I needed one. All right, let me drop down here. Inch off of this. And then I think if I fall on this, I survive. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, they didn't survive. See, I knew it. That was a lethal fall. And then there should be a ladder over here, if I remember right. Yep. 
Perfect. There's no way you're actually following me that quickly. Climb up this ladder, I dare you. You are so fucking stupid. Learn when to give up. Drop on that guy. Yeah, okay, we're up here, right? Boom, stone sword key, there it is. Now we got the key. Pop this shit open. Only key I used was the one to get the uh, turtle talisman, so... And iron wet blade, there it is. Uh, let's go back to the uh, round table, and we're gonna change this to heavy. The next plan is to go deeper into Altus, and then go to the cave that's over here. That'll have, like, a super easy access bearing, and then I can just slam more stones into this thing. So it'll be a heavy upgrade, plus more upgrade. Gonna hit way harder. But I can't wait until that sense of wonder comes back, like, not having the game figured out or, like, shit memorized or whatever. I can put on Braggart's Roar. I, I don't like the fact that it changes my heavies and shit like that, so I'm probably just gonna go Giant Hunt, actually. We're gonna go heavy there it is heavy great sword so you see how before when it's standard i have strength and i have dex i don't want it scaling like that because i'm only dumping in the strength so if i change it to heavy it changes it from a c rank to a b rank and that e rank in dexterity is nothing but boom once we turn it heavy now we're much stronger now every point that we put in the strength will absolutely be 100 efficient i can't wait until we get into that dlc and we're no there's no way that we don't get a boss that has three phases or like a triple gank there's got to be some disgusting shit in there every other dlc for all the souls games that they've ever produced always made harder bosses than the original the hardest bosses in all those games the dlc ones are always the most insane we could go in deeper into the city but we want to go here this is where our one uh bell bearing is <gasps> fuck holy shit i thought there was like a smooth drop off over there i forgot i know some people wanted me to actually go and play uh things like uh the conversion mod and like really unfair mods and shit like that i mean I definitely could. Now, disclaimer, though, for the Convergence mod, which is, in my opinion, the coolest one. It's the most well-made one, in my opinion. Like, it's got new weapons, new bosses, new areas, new everything, really. Some things are reworked. I have played it through already, multiple times. All right, so we pop this open, right? And it's a super simple, super easy. So we go over here, and it's immediately... Oh. Oh no, it's okay, we could just go around. This guy tries to ambush you. He's so little, he was literally underneath of my blade's hitbox. All right, boom. There it is. Get outside of the cave because it won't let me teleport. Back to the round table. We'll turn this in, see how much we can upgrade this shit, and then we go to the city. I also have the Remembrance of Radon, so I can pop that if we get low on uh, Brune. All right, boom. Okay, Smithing Stone 4. I know the beginning of this has been just kind of uh, collecting items and shit, but that's a part of the experience. Okay, I need four more. That's as upgraded as we can get it for now until we go and get the next one, which is, I think, all the way up in, like, the Consecrated Snowfield. And if it's all the way up there, we won't be able to get up there until uh, we get through the city, so. All right, yeah. So now we need Smithing Stone 5. We went from, like, plus 8 to plus 13. We should be considerably stronger. I could do two Endurance. Yeah, fuck it. Can I put on those gloves now? Okay, we're good. Now I don't have to worry about endurance for a little bit. Then I can start dumping in the strength again. Let's go and smash the fuck out of this city. What do we even fight here? We fight the Sentinel to get inside. And then what else? The, the Ghost of Godfrey, I think. Okay, yeah, we can fight like three bosses. I've been playing for a little while, just like collecting those items as the game does. But I also need to probably upgrade my flask eventually. So that's going to be another thing where I have to just run around and just go from spot to spot like this tree sentinel is pretty strong as well but again that move set is honestly pretty easy to just watch nothing really surprises me the only thing that's ever difficult about this tree sentinel in particular the draconic one it goes into phase two with the lightning and shit sometimes the aoe just like one shots you I, I don't know sometimes it doesn't feel like you can avoid unless you perfectly dodge and i'm pretty rusty so we do have giant hunt but i don't think i'm gonna use it that much unless it does an absurd amount of damage but i don't have any uh let's try it Mm. Oh, fuck! Jump attack too. Almost the same amount, actually. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, it hurts, though. That was actually a really cool giant hunt. I went right underneath of it and just- Oh shit, that was actually cool as fuck. Dragon Great Claw and the shield. I never actually used a shield build on this game, I think. I've used like a buckler and like a parry kind of thing, but never like an actual shield, like defensive 
stone wall type of thing. Yeah, we're doing some good damage as well. Let's just dump the rest in the strength right here because we're lacking a little bit. I was not expecting to do that much damage. The thing is, I was getting hit very hard. If I got hit twice, I was dead. But I knew that going into it. I survived, so HP pool isn't that bad. I'll probably stop at like 40 vig. There's been an uptick in people that have uh, been doing their first Elden Ring playthroughs, like random streamers and shit. I'm just watching random people with like 50 viewers and shit playing the game for the first time. Shit is so entertaining. Ah! I always hate this guy because every time I try to run past him, he zaps me with lightning or some stupid shit. And then if I try to fight him, he just blocks everything. He ain't stopping that giant hunt though. I'll be back for you, don't worry. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely going back to kill him just for that. You know, people have been talking again about what is going on with all of these characters that have no left eye. Her, Ronnie, Mesmer, they all don't have a left eye. Is that like the mark of some kind of Empyrean thing or what? Pop this rune that we found. 5k, okay. I'm gonna get some HP. <laughs> now we should be going that way, but I want to kill this tree first. Also, I think this tree drops another rune on top of the runes that it already drops to begin with. Goodness, the poise on that attack, holy shit. Got him. I'm pretty sure it drops like a Lord's Rune or something, right? Yeah, so it gave me 10k plus that Lord's Rune. How much does a Lord's Rune give? Eight? 50! Oh, I'm leveling up again. More HP. Okay, I don't know if I have to do this, but usually I go down here and pull this lever. I, I actually don't know why I pull the lever, though. Is it supposed to open the, the gate below me so I can just run down the street and open? I think so. It sounds like some sort of lock or gate or something. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need that golden seed. Hey, dude. Ah! Go fall, go fall, go fall. They got an update for Tekken that comes out tonight. Still haven't done anything with Safina. She's just, just dead in the water, man. How do I always play the worst characters? Like, I didn't pick them because of the bad ones. I didn't want them to be bad. Ow, that hurt. That also hurt. All right, dude, okay. You don't have to be fucking weird about it. Hunt. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Jump! Oh! Giant Hunt! What? He has one HP. Oh no. See, I'm just gonna heal. I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm gonna poke him. Oh! Right in his ass. Talisman pouch. Okay, nice. So we can get another one as well. Uh, what would my other talisman slot even be? Maybe like an Erd Tree's favor or some sort of defense item. That Radagon thing is reducing or increasing the amount of damage that I'm taking. If I equip something that reduces the amount of damage I take, it would cancel out, right? So if I get like, say, the Dragon Crest Great Shield or some shit talisman, then it should be good. It might even actually end up protecting more. I don't know what the numbers are on it though. Dead. We're gonna dump some more in the HP. <laughs> Our damage is great. 34. Oh, yeah. Blessing of the Earth Tree. Oh, yeah. So that's the other thing. This, uh, what is this shit called? People are saying that this whole draping, I don't know what the term is, it drapes down. And if you watch the Shadow of the Earth Tree shit, there's a bunch of videos already talking about this, but the sky looks just like this, which is just kind of an interesting detail. And if it's like an inverted world of the tree, I, I don't know. It's super interesting though. Baldekin, that's the term. Baldekin. I'm pretty sure I've never used that word in my life. We go and beat the shit out of Morgoth here. Right, what's up, pussy? Oh, all right, he already took my shit off. Mm, that hurt, didn't it, bitch? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's tough. Mm. Giant's hunt? Oh, shit, that's hurt. Ow. And that shit lasts way longer than I remember. Also, the other thing. Does anybody else think that Morgoth is literally easier than Margit? Margit has a moveset where he literally covers his openings and shit, whereas this one has way bigger openings. Like, right here? That's an opening. Oh, this is gonna hurt, though. Ugh. Broken 
Slasher again. Giant Sun. What the fuck? Giant Sun for the kill. First try. I never struggled on this boss, though. Unironically, Margaret is harder. He also says one of my favorite lines. We are. We are. Really ominous now that we know a lot about the, uh, or at least a little bit of information about what's going on with the shadow of the Earth Tree. Did he know about all that shit? All right, well, there it is. Rolled medallion, there it is. Now we get access to the consecrated snow field, which means we can go and get the next bell bearing as well. I'm gonna even out my HP right here, and now I'm just gonna start dumping into strength. And then we also wanna use this. Level up at least one or two more times. Strength, strength. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to be doing this shit over on Shadow of the Earth Tree, too. Oh, I can't wait for this shit.